What's up, y'all? This is Nate Davis again. I'm going to ask you a question about a Honda Accord PO420 code. Famous Catholic Converter. Now, we'll be checking the hair before we condemn the Catholic Converter to make sure the O2 sensor is switching correctly. Look at this thing. It's switching. Look at the numbers. I can't. You can't see around this wire. But it's only switching from 400 mV volts to 800 mV volts. It's supposed to be switching between 0.1 and 0.9. 100 to 900 mV volts. Now watch out this switch. And remember, you cannot change the catalytic converter if the O2 sensor doesn't switch correctly. You have to fix that first. For whatever reason, it may be switching incorrectly. Right now, I did the O2 response test, but it's hard to do with O2 that doesn't work. So we did the best we can to try to give you an idea how you check it. So I added propane, I try to get it to go rich. You got to at least go over 800 mini volts when I add right, propane. Yeah, that's what right? it, it did do that. It did go high when I get propane. That's good. When I let it go, it's supposed to go down to at least 200 mini volts. Right? Actually, 175 mini volts. Oh, a leaky fuel injector, a leaky pressure regulator. All oh, that stuff, check that okay. So I'm, gonna check, I'm trying to take the response time with O2 sensor, but we can't because the O2 is out of calibration. But this is how you would do it. One cursor goes at 175, the second cursor goes at 800 millivolts. The time difference between the two should be less than 85 milliseconds on fuel injection. 100 milliseconds on the carburetor. But you want to see under 85 milliseconds on a fuel injection car. Yeah, this one went down on 175, which it did not do. We measured the high part, which is right here, at 800 millivolts. Between these two, I'm supposed to be under 100 milliseconds. Right now, it's 500, 500 milliseconds. Really, for a fuel right. injection, it should be under 85 so that's, milliseconds. That's the way I'm anyway. All right, I only need to change the cat until I take care of this. Because that could fall off the cat. Now remember, if the O2 sensor doesn't operate right, the cat doesn't work right. So before you even think about changing the cat, it has to be on fuel control and the O2 sensor has to be working correctly.
Let me grab 10%, right? Plus or minus 10. Zero is the identical number. But you don't want to over 10. You know the 10 is something wrong. Well, it's all negative. What I'm explaining here, also before you change the cat, it should be on fuel control. Long term and short term fuel control should be around zero, plus or minus 10%. Never change the cat over there or under there. You try to change the cat, you don't change it yet until that's fixed. Well, that's something that shows good. Hold that part drama, let me see what we're reading Anything between zero and ten is good? Yeah. Maybe, maybe when you get to ten, that's kind of hard too, but you want to close to zero as possible. Okay, right here. So this one, so I'm going to say right here. Here, okay, that's before the cat, after the cat. Alright? We want to make sure they don't match. If they match, then it gets a bad cat. Alright? Hold that part, hold that part throughout. They should be. Now we're going to grab both whole two sensors, front and rear. I'm gonna try to grab that on the arm. I'm gonna try to grab from the scan tool. Get a good idea how the cat's working using the scan tool to grab. Not this one, this is just analog voltage. This is just uh, voltage readings. In the middle, I'm pulling the grab. This is both old two sensors. The green one is the rear. The red one is the front. That's not really bad. They are separated. Unlike the last one we seen in my other video, that was matching. And this one's pretty separated. So so far, it doesn't look that bad. It actually looks pretty good. I'm holding that part throttle around 2,000 RPM. Oops, got a little match right there. You always want to check a cat or part throttle anyway. You really don't want to check it at idle because it could fail at idle. Oh, we're starting to get a little match here. We're starting to almost to mimic each other. At cruise speed, it got a little worse. They're starting to get too close to each other. Remember, the front should be 70% difference on the back. 
then again, remember, we do have the O2 cylinder not working correctly also. So don't get them the cat yet. As it got warmer, it looks a little better. You can see it. it. Looks a lot better. Look towards the right of the screen. You can see it's starting to separate again. So it's looking much better. Yeah, excuse my student there. I want to edit that out, but I had to clip. I couldn't clip the whole thing out. Now we're going to do something called an oxygen storage capacity test. The ability of the catalytic convert to store, hold, and use oxygen. We want to add propane when they both go rich. The computer is going to try to lean it out at this point. I want to turn the propane off. The red line should go down first. The green one should go down two seconds after the red. You see how they both went down at the same time? That doesn't look good. It should not come down together. There should be a separation of two seconds. But remember, again, I will not condemn this cat until I change that O2 sensor. Get that O2 sensor to work correctly, I should say. So on this cat, it actually passed one test, failed one test. And I'm adding propane, making it go rich. Computer should try to lean it out. I'm going to turn the propane off. And I'm going to watch, watch the response from both sensors. The red one should drop first. Two seconds later, the green, the green one should drop. This showing the ability of the cat to hold, store, and use up oxygen. This is called the oxygen storage capacity test. My propane bottle froze up, I had to do it again. I had a little problem. Problems up there. There we go again. I'm gonna try it again. And again, they both dropped the same time when I turned the propane on. I mean, they shouldn't drop together. There should be a separation. But again, but again, I'm not condemning cat on this test because O2 is not working correctly. Now, before we uh.
I want a different cat just about that by itself. Especially the other one, the other picture, it was separated. First one, it was separated. Sure, the cat was working. Alright, so I want to get dimmer inside the last bird. This other thing, this thing has a. Uh... Alright, can And my last test we're going to do, I should have did this first. We're going to check to make sure the ignition system is working okay, make sure it has no misfires. The plugs, cap and roll is working okay. So we're going to check the signal ignition circuit. Right now, uh, under acceleration, this looks pretty normal. Again, change the O2 sensor, recheck the cat. Hope this information helps. Please subscribe. This is Nate Davis, aka Smog Dog. You have a great day. Peace. I'm out.